for insertion sort, we have a temporary x variable, and then two indexes that we are keeping track of, i and j. So let's imagine we are trying to sort this sequence, 6, 3, 8, 5. We start i at index 1, and we consider everything that comes before i as already being sorted. So in this case, everything that comes before i is just one single number, and we consider a sequence of size 1 as being sorted by default. That's why we start at 1. We make j equal to i, and we store whatever is at that index in our temporary x variable. Now we compare j minus 1 to x. Is 6 larger than 3? Yes, it is. So we copy it over to index j. We move j back one position, and since we're at the beginning of the array and there's nothing before it that we could compare against, we determine that the correct position for 3 is at index j, and we write it to that index. Now we move i forward one position, we set j equal to i, and we copy 8 to our temporary x variable. We compare j minus 1 against 8. Is 6 larger than 8? It is not. That means 8 is already at its correct position, so we don't need to do anything else here. We move i forward one position, set j equal to i, and store 5 in our temporary variable. We compare j minus 1, which is 8. Is it larger than 5? Yes, it is. So we copy 8 over to j, and we move j back one position. We compare j minus 1, 6. Is it larger than 5? Yes, it is. So we copy that over to j again and move j back one position. Now we check j minus 1 is 3 larger than 5. It is not. That means the correct position for 5 is at index j. So we write it to that index and we are done. Since i is already at the last position of the array, that means everything is sorted.